All right, now let's see if we can do it this way. One, two. You can go back and forth. Oh, that does look pretty good. Rips it off like this. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> Is this the best magic trick in the world? Yo, what's up? And welcome back, guys. Uh, hey, you made it. <laughs> you found the end of YouTube. Here you are. You beat the game. We're looking at TikTok magic. That's what this channel's come to. All right, we're looking at TikTok magic. It's gonna be so sick. Honestly, though, there are a lot of uh, people revealing magic on TikTok, oddly enough. We all knew this day would come. So we're gonna have a look at some of these tricks and see if we can learn anything while we're at it. Instead of shaming these people, these poor people getting billions of views. <laughs> Strap yourselves in. It's gonna be a crazy video. It's gonna be so crazy. Um, but just in case, leave a like. So that way, if you leave, you've left your like already. <laughs> Let's get into it. Oh, by the way, new collection uh, at first.shop just dropped. It's today, Friday. If you want to check it out, first.shop. I paid a lot of money for that URL, so I really need you guys to support me. Okay, so I typed in magic trick to TikTok. And by the way, I use TikTok to look for everything now. It used to be Google and it used to be scrolls really. And then it was Google. And then now it's, I scroll on TikTok uh, for my news. Whoa, three easy magic tricks that you can do right now. Number one. I like how he goes right now. And then he shows me a box of Crayola crayons. I don't know what your demographic has in their pockets. But I'm gonna teach you how you can magically vanish crayons. To do this, you wanna buy a bunch of crayons, cut them in half and tape them together. Every magic shop's got these in like their kids' magic kits. And it's it's a good little method for kids. People usually use it with the coloring book, the magic coloring book, so there is no color on the book. You take the crayons, you vanish the crayons, and now the book has color in it. Place it back in the box, and as soon as you let go of the pressure, you can make it vanish. For the second trick, I'm gonna teach you how to <coughs> puke out cards. To do this, you're gonna- <laughs> I'm gonna teach you how to <laughs> Puke out cards. Grab about 10 cards, uh, palm it in your hands, pretend to cough, and then let the cards go. That's a bad palm. Look at that palm. We see it. <laughs> For the last trick, I'm going to show you how you can take any empty cup and magically make a ball appear. Just like that. To do this, all you need is a cup and a ball. Cut a little square out of the cup, and all you're going to do is hold the ball in place when showing it, and then at any point... It's a bad trick. I like what this guy's doing. Shawnee, I think his name is, Orsini. I like what he's doing because uh, these tricks are all pretty beginner intro level tricks. And as a magician who really loves magic, uh, and I bet this guy does too, he's out there not necessarily showing the real work on powerful magic tricks. He's sort of giving you an intro into deception in an easy way that even kids can follow along. And I, I think it's fine. All right. What? Oh, this guy's gonna show it. There are a few tricks that use that same principle that he was doing. Uh, so this is a trick that he was doing. It creates like a cool uh, sort of window. Uh, looks like you're changing the card. You can actually go pretty far out and from the side, yeah. But there is a better version of that trick. If you stick this card here, so right there, and you're pushing it to your index here, and was it this way? Oh, sorry, it has to be. And then you take this card. So from this angle, you don't see this. And uh, you got the four of spades. And all you're doing is uh, lining it up with this other one. And as you come down, sorry, get some lighting on that. You can go back and forth until you're all the way done. Now that's pretty cool. And all you have to do is clean up that second card in any way you want to, or change it back. Again. This is the problem with magicians, really. They wanna you just ask for one thing and they're like, here's four more tricks. I am what's wrong with magic. What about this one here? Yeah, I know that one. He's gonna show this? Yeah. If, um, yeah, I know that one. Uh, but it's wild to me, this video starts with this guy trying to impress the other guy, and the other guy, his attitude's like, give me that, I can do that, and just does this crazy handling. Like, look at this watch. So he's like, boom, 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 
Damn, from the back, that looks fine, too. And he's, like, surprised. And he's like, give me that. I know how this works. <laughs> and it does this insane handling here. I guess it's a pretty good premise. It shows you how easy it can be to learn, but it's definitely not that easy. This is known as the best magic trick in the world? Ah. Oh. You can learn this trick in less than 30 seconds. So let's do it now. How is this the best magic trick in the world? I'll tell you what it is. It is the best clickbait thumbnail that I've ever used. <laughs> Because now I can legit say, is this the best magic trick in the world? And you guys are going to be like, of course not. And I'm like, of course not. But this guy definitely thinks so. His clickbait served for my clickbait. And that's how this uh, beautiful symbiotic relationship of online content works. We feed off each other like leeches and stuff our pockets full of money. That's, that's what this has come to. But that is cool. I do like this. Um... Uh, you can, I seen people do it like, like both ways. Cause it is kind of cool. It does look cool. I don't know. At Rit the Magic Trick. This guy, by the way, I love Joel. I think what he's doing on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram and all that with these videos, I think he's really done it right. And it, you know, he gets somebody always reacting and you know, obviously they're probably in on it. For people just scrolling through, it's still fun to watch for some reason. I'm so sick of hearing Rit the Magic Trick. <laughs> it's all I've, I've heard it a hundred times. I love you, Joel, but m switch it up. This Shout right here. To push. At Rit the Magic Trick. Mm. Rit the Magic Trick <laughs> for the rest of us who aren't Irish. I don't know, just me, I guess. All right. Mm. Mm. Boom. What? <laughs> 10 out of 10. Rit the Magic Trick. 10 out of 10. Trick. <laughs> Surprise. Surprise. A nine out of 10. Yes. Wait. Wait. That was like one of the first nines I've ever uh, I've ever heard someone give him. Uh, that trick is actually cool. I believe I think it's called Airheads. As a trick, if I can get one of these coins to melt through this bag, would that deserve a follow? Well, yeah, but you're not going to do it. Watch. <laughs> oh my god. Does that deserve a follow? Yeah. I actually don't think she was in on those on maybe the second one, but the last one, because that that is a legitimate trick. Yo, I gotta try this, dude. Are you kidding me? That is kind of sick. The video's backwards, so he's doing it with the, with his other hand. He's here, goes here, bends the corner, rips it off like this. <laughs> That's not bad. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Super simple, dude. Very devious. I actually like that one a lot. Who's this guy? Kim C. Chang 991. Classic Kim C. Oh my God, guys, it's Sak Sham. That's a fake golf ball, fake balls. They're made out of chocolate, just like so. I'm actually got this fake recoil. I'm gonna put this in my mouth. <laughs> Did he say fake coil? It's a real coil. As well, here we go. I like how the sound effects are just completely out of sync. Like, I, I could picture the editor editing this video and just being like, syncing the first two or three and then being like, this is taking forever. And he just drops a bunch of sounds and it turns into this. <laughs> I did not expect that to take that turn. Oh my God. <laughs> Who's this video for? Who's that video for? Crayons, there's no way they can pass through each other, but right? watch, if I use a little magic, one, two, three, they magically pass through. Is this just magic? Is that what he used? Ooh, that second one. That second one was really good. That one's whatever, we've seen that one. The first one is whatever, but this one, I really love that one. That one got me good. I tried. Do we have like apples or oranges here? I don't think so. Do we have anything like that? Any citrus, fruit, or round vegetable? You got one? Do you have two pencils? Antoine, is that yours from your purse from your lunch? Yeah. What is it? Grapefruit? Yeah. I hate grapefruit. This will be perfect. It might be contaminated. You don't mind? 
All right, cool. Let me do the secret magic stuff, guys. See if we can do, let's see if we can do it differently. This is where I like getting creative. Like what if you went like, right? If you were here and you go uh, one, two, three. Right? So maybe in the action of throwing it here. Right, so I like this a lot. This is fun to play with. Oh, right, so you can go boom, I can pull it out. All right, so we have a pen here. I'll put it into the, uh, the orange and one, two, three. Uh, we've got a pen and a pineapple, pen, pineapple, apple pen. And we're gonna take this pen and stick it into, oh God. And we're gonna take this pen and we're gonna plunge it into the, uh, the grapefruit. Now you can see that this is a real pen and it really is plunged into the grapefruit like this, right? All right, now let's see if we can do it this way. One, two, three. We can edit the sound out and post. Okay, just an idea. Fun nonetheless. Antoine, here's your grapefruit back. <laughs> Dude, this smells like bile. Who likes grapefruit? A surprising amount of people like grapefruit. Who's the anti-grapefruit gang here, all right? I wanna hear your hate for grapefruit. We're starting a hate group for grapefruit on Facebook, uh, if you guys wanna join it. Next. Okay, oh, so you start here and you go. Oh, that does look pretty good. Something like that. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do that anymore. Well, he's looking at me, he's like, you really gotta stop doing that. Cigarette magic. Yeah, this is a classic with cigarette magic. This is a good one. For all you kids out there who wanna start learning cigarette magic, this is a great way to get into it. Whether whether or not you're into smoking, I feel like I feel like you can still do cigarette magic, kids. If you Hey, I'm just editing the video and my sarcasm was top tier. In fact, so good that it sounded like I was endorsing <laughs> children smoking cigarettes, which I don't. It's a terrible idea. Don't do that. Uh, you can vape, I guess. Hey, hey, sorry. Uh, editing that clip that you just saw. Don't do that either. Don't do the vaping thing or the smoking thing, kids. These are all jokes and they're made to make you laugh, you know, or if you're a smoker, wheeze. I don't know. I'd really have to stop doing these. Hold on, did he just eat a tennis ball? Let me keep watching. This is Kyle Marlett, uh, actually a great creator. I, I believe this is one of those things, cause you hear like, if you guys watch magic TikTok as much as I do, you'll hear like a doop, doop, like the TikTok sort of thing that's about to film. You know that when they're doing that, they're gonna do it for another camera and you're getting the exposed angle of the trick. So just watch, you'll understand. It's like he's getting ready, showing you how everything gets ready. Boom. The f uh, two things, uh, uh, one thing that's super funny is that there is no other camera. So I'd love to see the exposed angle of these because when people do this, there is no other camera. They're like, they're doing magic. They're like getting ready. They're like, okay, doot, doot. And they hear the film and they're like, boom, boom, boom. And they do all these things to nothing. There's nothing here. There's nothing, there's there's an extension cord, you know? So I think that's pretty funny. And then he, uh, he starts off by eating a tennis ball. So that always, you know, drives up viewer retention. It is smart as a format. So if you're out there doing tricks, it is a smart format because you're showing them the setup, then they watch the trick. But some of the setup doesn't always make sense to how the trick works. Like this one, for instance, I'll be like, wait, did I miss something? And you wanna go back and watch it again, right? So that's that's their goal here. I like it. Have you ever wondered how- Ready to nope. watch your trick. 
What are you doing? Is it Raid the Magic Trick again? Oh. I'll teach you. Hey Siri, expose the magic trick. Wait, was that the trick? Yeah, it was cool, right? There is nothing to expose. You just have no life to learn how to do that. What the? That is a interesting thing. Like, obviously, I mean, I've used Siri before in performances where I've even taught how to sort of make her say whatever you want her to say. Uh, he took that idea and uh, asked her to react to the tricks. And I think it's really smart. So good on you. And uh, this video doesn't look like it's blown up yet. So I'll give it a like and hopefully it'll, uh, it'll end up doing Coin, well. Coin, jar, magic. Or you could just... It's a good point. Magicians often do this. Create solutions for things that aren't a problem. A solution is something that isn't a problem. Like if, if I have a... You know, if I have a pen cap here and I'll like make it float, it's like, hey man, this is so much easier and less painful. Because uh, when you're here like this, trying to get it to like, just just put the cap on, you know what I mean? So it's a good point he's making. And I do think about that. Wait, what's this? Whoa, I've never actually learned this. Whoa, that's crazy. This is actually pretty cool. Do we have a rubber band? In my bag right there. In the in, 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 in the main pocket where the cameras are. In a tightly sealed puzzle box, there should be four rubber bands. Oh, you've already unlocked the puzzle box, huh? Well, that was quick. Thank you. Not the thumb. Magic tricks are confusing to follow along with. Okay, boom. I'm doing this right now. And you, it goes over the thumb. Oh, he pulls down. And then as you go here. I've always learned this one where you have it here and you can put it here and then it jumps to there by like doing this weird motion and you're just kind of grabbing it behind your hand and placing it over. But this one looks way cooler. It's a little more angle sensitive, but uh, cool. Cool nonetheless. We learned something new today, which is sick. What? Real the magic trick. Two. One. Two. One. What? That's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Wait, the magic trick, watch. I like how he keeps acting in the back. These guys are great. They really make a good duo, man. I have nothing against this. I think this is hilarious and fun. And and they're like skits, right? So for all of you out there thinking, he's in on it or this is fake, like uh, we're past that, dude. Like we're so far past that on TikTok and social media. Like everybody knows. It's like you're still the guy being like, wrestling is it real. Like, yeah, we get it. We still like it, you know? A lot. We like it a lot. A little too much. We like it maybe too much even. Yes. Unbelievable. I do it every time. Get a cold drink. Don't pick up a straw. Hold on to that for me. Just as well. I always carry one with me. Here it is. I know I've got a big one. <laughs> Make a joke about his junk at the end. Some ASMR. I'm down for this. Sounds nice, right? Those are cool cards. Pretty cool, dude. Pretty cool indeed. I like that a lot. All right, we're gonna we're gonna stop there before I. Uh, we're just gonna stop. Um, it's enough. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, check out first shop. By the way, we launched some new clothes. All right, it's pretty cool. So you'll like it. Ten years I've been doing this and still don't know how to stop this. Still don't know how to end a video. Peace, man. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, you probably haven't forgotten. You probably probably thought about it even. <laughs> and haven't subscribed yet. Um, so maybe come back and think about it some more and then hit the button. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.